हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अभिषेक बघेरवा वेलकम टू सेल्सफोर्स फ्लो बिल्डर सीरीज सो आई हैव कम अप अ न्यू वीडियो इन व्हिच आई एम गोना शो यू हाउ टू डिलीट ऑल द अटैचमेंट्स एसोसिएटेड टू अ सिंगल रिकॉर्ड ओके सो इन माय एग्जांपल आई एम गोना यूज कांटेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट रिकॉर्ड एंड ऑन अ सिंगल कांटेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट रिकॉर्ड using the flow whatever attachments are attached all those attachments with a single click of a button i'm going to remove i'm going to delete using the flow builder okay so let's get started so i am inside an org i'll just go to flows i'll click create new flow and this is i am going to create a screen flow okay so click create now first and the most important thing here would be to provide the record id inside the flow in order to fetch all the associated attachments okay so i'll come here in the toolbox i'll click create new resource and i'm going to select a variable and i'm going to say contact record id okay this is the api name of the variable data type text and available for input okay that click done now let's come to our flow pane and here i am going to create first a screen so this is screen would be delete all contacts contact attachment or we can say delete all attachments of contact okay api name will come automatically header do we need header yes we need header then footer we need footer as well and uh, but we do not need previous button and we do not need pause button then we need the finish button but uh, we are going to use a custom label that would be delete okay then we have header only okay this is a footer let's click done first Okay. Header label. How to change it? Okay, let me see. These are all footer part. Or let's say let's put a text field over here. No, not the field. Field is not needed. okay this is the label is going to come okay that is fine delete all attachments of contact click done so after this screen this screen does have a button and a text as delete all attachments of contact now after that we need to get the attachment records for this contact or whichever contact screen we are on so i'm going to make use of get records so get all attachments of contact here i am going to make use of content document link because on this field we have the entity id linked entity id basically linked entity id is the field the lookup field towards the object under which the document is attached so this link entity id in our case would be the contact id so that is for we have created a variable contact record id and 
now the question comes how the contact id is gonna pass inside this uh, variable so that we will be configuring inside the lightning page configuration so that will come later later in this video so first uh, content document link record we are fetching based on the link entity id equals contact record id and all records i want to store automatically store fields click done now once the attachments we have got we need to delete them basically so i'm gonna make use of delete records activity and i'm gonna say delete all attachments of contact okay or we can see delete attachments contact file okay now we need to select the record collection so this is going to be our record collection coming from the previous step where we were getting the records so get content document link from get all attachments of all contacts so this is basically okay this is get record at the same record collection we are using in the delete activity okay so let's revise what we have done first we have created a variable for contact record id value we are going to pass in the record page then we have prepared a screen which will be having a message as delete all attachments of contact and a delete button on click of the button the flow will run forward and it's gonna fetch all the attachments of that contact record using the content document link object where linked entity id equals to contact record id all records i am storing in my collection and then the same collection i am using to delete the records okay now let's save this flow as delete all attachments of contact record book. okay now click save now before making it activate let's do some testing okay so here i have a contact on this contact there are no notes and attachments so i'll just uh, um, put a few attachments over here first okay now we are gonna debug the flow so i'll just click on debug and here it's gonna ask us for a contact id because that we have created as an input variable in our flow so i'm just gonna pass this contact id over here click run so as you can see the initial screen has come through delete all attachments of contact record flow okay so it is showing us the name of the flow itself then click delete so now let's see what has happened here we have got these two records these two files which we had over here and as it says that transaction is committed so that means the files should have been deleted so we will just come over here we will refresh it okay as you can see the attachments has been removed that means the flow is working as per a requirement now let's go back to our flow and let's activate it now this is a screen flow so we need to put it on the record page so i'll come back over this contact record and i'll just go to edit page from the app builder page i am gonna use the flow standard component from left side i'll just drop it here ok 
okay i'll do it here yeah so here i will be selecting our flow that is delete all attachments of contact record flow and here you can see the input variable which we have created is coming over here and all you have to do is click this chat pass record id into this variable on click of this it will be populated within the curly braces exclamation mark record dot id so whatever whichever record you are opening that record id will be passed to this flow based upon that the attachments will be fetched and then those attachments will be deleted as part of this flow okay so now this is done i'm just gonna save it let's go back to our contact okay this is screen is coming over here now uh, let's try it again and uh, let me just uh, upload some of the files okay fine three files are there on this contact now i'm just gonna click delete and as you can see all the files have been removed from this contact similarly let's test it for some other contact as well okay this contact also not having any files so i'm just selecting a file let's say it's pdf okay again i'm just clicking delete as you can see the attachments have been deleted so that's how you can make use of screen flow and actions provided under it for deleting all attachments under a specific record so yeah that was all about this video if you find this content helpful please like it and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagherwal thank you